Centuries ago, lava flows from Mauna Kea sizzled into the sea. The sun can make it feel like the lava still flows. Brad Henshaw was still feeling the isolation of being the leader. That feeling of isolation was about to end. He couldn't see the faces, but he knew the names. with Scott, Allen, and Chris Hinshaw was Rob Barrow, a 28-year-old from a small town in the Netherlands called Wienendal. It was Barrow who made the first move to break from the pack. Brad Hinshaw must have expected this, but it must have been a sinking feeling nonetheless. In a slow, steady, unceremonious move, Rob Barrel claimed first place. It was not an American leading the Ironman triathlon. That, in and of itself, was news. It would be a headline if Rob Barrel could win. It was approaching high noon in the Hawaiian sun. Dave Scott and Mark Allen held second and third place. Having passed the turnaround at Javi, Scott decided he would like to be first. Rob Barrel would be the victim. Scott traded places many times, but then life seemed normal again in the triathlon world. Dave Scott was leading the Ironman. I really don't know what drives me to, to do this race. I think it stems way back when I was a kid and when I swam in high school and college. I never reached the top, yet I felt I always worked out harder than anyone else alive, but I just didn't have either the right genes or I just didn't have the skill or whatever. In a lot of ways, I'm, I really have a hidden desire to, to excel. Sometimes it doesn't show in other facets of my life, but uh, in competition, usually I can bring it out. I got some big boys right behind me. Race starts in the run. We just hold our position here, I think. For Scott, Barrel, and Mark Allen, the preparation for the run had begun. It is during that 26 miles and 385 yards when this race is usually won and lost. Most of the field, however, was as far away from these three on the map as they were from thinking about the run. The trade winds on the road to Javi were still their concern. There are many Ironman experiences that are common to all. Every five miles comes an oasis of bananas, cookies, and water. And every triathlete will tell you, if you don't drink, you can't drive.